Perfect. Perfect. channel you might be questioning yourself Hannah why are you wearing sunglasses because beach I don't want to give too much away so today we are diving into the alien palette I have waited over two and a half weeks for this bad boy to come to my house this is the look that we created with her today we are feeling ourselves but first things first is I want to go ahead and just swatch all the colors for you so start with swatching her um so obviously when you look at the palette it has these 3d little eyes on it and it is so freaking cute this thing is literally the size of my freaking head I got a big head I also got a couple lipsticks and then obviously the alien palette you have just this hot pink and then it opens up like a gigantic compact with a gigantic mirror on it oh my god she's so freaking beautiful like at first when I opened this I was like oh it's pretty now I'm like yes girl she is beautiful first couple shades like I said I'm gonna go ahead we're gonna probably be using this little my little chubby side of my arm this is different I have that in the video. Start off with the first shade, which is called Pluto. I also have this as a highlighter today. You can see it's not a white white, it's like a cream. Very, very beautiful. It shines. It's more of a shimmer versus it being like that metallic-y. What's the shade? What's what am I looking for? I don't know. You know what I'm saying. So it's more of a metallic satin versus being like a why can't I think of what these these shades are called? Anyways, versus being that, you know what I'm saying. Next shade is Titan, which is more of like a warm toned bone. This is gonna be something that you can dust all over your lid more of a base this palette compared to the blood sugar palette is a lot more cool tone next shade is called alien which is just this stunning neon green it is freaking beautiful this dusted all over the lid with abduction just oh it's gonna give it to me in all the right places next shade is called interstellar it appears to be a little bit lighter on my arm it was more of a cool tone champagne so you're gonna have less of like a gold in it i think this color on someone with medium skin tone on the high points of the cheek would be gorgeous all right so next one i'm running out of room already how i don't know let me go ahead and wipe her off we're gonna start off with the next row first shade is gonna be this neon uh matte green which is called abduction this is just one swatch so so you can see all of these shades i will say what's really nice is they're buildable it's not like you go right in and it's like oh my god where am i supposed to go with it next shade is going to be ufo this is more of a green toned gold it's very unique it's unlike anything that i do have in my collection it is beautiful next one is gravity which is more of a peachy tone this is going to be something my arm is getting so tired god it's hard to be me. This shade is more of the warmer tones in the palette. Most of the stuff is very cool toned. This is one of the more warm shades. Next one is Martian Soil. Now this color is going to be everything and more to anybody that loves an orange eyeshadow. Like I am one of those people that loves a good orange eyeshadow just buffed in. Bunch of mascara on. I freaking love this shade. This shade is 10 out of 10 my favorite next one is flying saucer and it has a flying saucer in the pan and like you don't want to destroy it but like in the name of beauty right so i'm gonna go in light just because i don't want to like mess it up which is this very beautiful um it reminds me almost like pool party from yeah it does it reminds me a little bit of jada from the jacqueline hill palette but they're a little bit different so jada's on my ring finger jeffree stars on my middle finger they look similar next one is called phone home there's no other way to describe it is a dusty pink that shade is beautiful oh my gosh I'm just imagining on my eye right now but again I wanted to go more towards the shades that I think people were kind of looking forward to my camera just died so I'm gonna have to make it quick because I had to put it on the charger for like 10 minutes so we go book it through the rest of the shade last shade that we left off with which was moon rock like I said is one of those shades that I just find very hard to describe because it's almost like a olive green bronze gold shift It's one of those shades also this is like staining my arm which I'm not gonna complain about too much, but it is, and my dog's upstairs. If you hear anything, that's her. I'm gonna start swatching this. Let's swatch it over the green. gonna be X Files which is a very beautiful cool toned brown I think that this color 
like on my lid just smoked out lower lash line some mascara a big old wing next row is gonna be ghost og which is a slate gray it is a true gray and it is again beautiful stunning 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 take a drink every time hannah says stunning in this video it is beautiful i really really like this shade i think this shade is perfect for someone who's maybe a little bit more fair complected to actually have a smoky eye sometimes black just can be a little too much next one is going to be area 51 which is that purple shade that i know all of you have been waiting for i did swatch this it does swatch patchy however i did use it on my eyes on the lower lash line smoked out again swatches don't always tell the whole story sometimes swatching a shade you can understand how to blend it out versus kind of going in and then being like oh fuck what do i do next one is space cowboy this is a chocolate brown metallic again this on the lid girl smoked out with x files yes beautiful shade it is just a true bronze with almost like a plum shift to it next one is probe which is a gray with a green blue shift that with a smoky eye on the lid next one is going to be tall gray which is a very cool toned gray that is one swipe on my hand and then last but not least is black hole which is just a true black it's a good black too like i said black eyeshadows can be tricky sometimes people really really like black eyeshadows that are buildable and this is one of those if you guys are interested on how to get this look right here go ahead and keep on watching make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel it really really helps me out hit that notification bell smack it punch it do whatever you gotta do guys so much let's go ahead and get into this look right here And don't mind my sunglasses it has just been a hot minute since I've actually recorded my eyes and my corneas are blinded by all of these lights in front of me let's face it like I said I waited over two and a half weeks and I literally just got a text message 220 your order from Jeffree Star Cosmetics has been delivered so let's go ahead and dive into this I was also gonna bring up one more thing I know some people some of you shady bitches out there were complaining that he didn't wrap everything and let me just go ahead and say I saved all the wrapping paper and you can't at me about it because it is the alien wrapping paper so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you wrapping paper so inside this was actually wrapped up and then it came with one two three four five six massive sheets of wrapping paper so any shady bitch out there that's saying that when they opened it it didn't come with anything you lying why the fuck you lying why you always crying and then today i am wearing the sephora foundation this is in shade 25 so that's what i'm wearing on my lid today as a primer the only reason i'm not going in with like a primer or anything like that is because i like to see how these shadows perform personally for me i'm not going to switch up my entire you know routine just for a eyeshadow palette i know some people really are willing to do that kind of stuff i am not one of those people that is willing to do that no shade no tea brush and then you can kind of see a little bit of kickback but it ain't the worst thing I've ever seen lightly dust that into my crease did a really good job neutralizing everything it blended out nice I can't really see it too much which is kind of the goal as to what I'm doing with this next color that I'm gonna go into is this shade right here called Martian soil I'm gonna take it on the same brush now this one does have less kickback with it which again you're gonna get with eyeshadows they're pressed pigments I mean that type of stuff doesn't bother me so I'm gonna go ahead and take that do the same thing and I really want to blow out this color the shade is beautiful and I'm almost taking it to like the bridge of my nose just because it's an alien palette, guys. We want to kick her up a notch. And like I said, I really want to just drag this color out quite a bit. Take that same brush, same color, and do my lower lash line. I almost want to have this color, like, I don't have any highlighter on right now, but I want it to be so, like, blended out that it's almost going to blend in with my highlighter just because, you know, that's what we're here for. I want to leave this part of my eye right here open just because I'm going to apply that green shade there. 
but so far this with like a wing maybe like interstellar on the lid would be freaking sickening but I think I'm gonna start off with X-Files it's always really hard when you get these you know palettes that have these cute little imprints you don't want to use it like flying saucer it has a flying saucer in it it's so freaking cute I don't want to use that I mean I do I'm going to so let's go ahead and take this and start stamping it and again this is shade X-Files I'm gonna go back in with the brush that had um, Martian soil on it. I'm gonna take a little bit more. Okay, so far I'm really liking that. I think it blended out and like smoked out quite nicely. Moving on! Let's go ahead and dive into the next shade, which is gonna be OG Ghost, which is this shade right here. Take that and lightly start darkening up that outer edge. I'm the only person that sometimes finds it easier to blend your shadow when you close your eyes. And now we're going to go ahead and try out Black Hole, which is the black in this palette. Now I'm one of those people that finds it really hard to like a specific black out of every single palette because everybody's black is a lot different. Some black eyeshadows can be really kind of just dry and nasty. I will say my top two blacks are the BH Cosmetic Zodiac palette. That black in there is freaking amazing. And my second one is the black out of the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm just going to focus that really on the outer edge. There is a little bit of fallout on my cheek on this side. I will say that the black isn't really the blackest black. However, I'm not mad at that. Also, I need to get rid of this fallout before it becomes a situation. I think I'm going to go into this shade, which is UFO, and I'm just going to lightly apply that to my lid, which it already applied, and this is dry. Okay. All right. Jeffree Star ain't playing around. That blended out super easy and like super stunning for a metallic. In love. In love love with this palette. And they want to take a little bit of Moon Rock, which is definitely unique. I don't think I have a shade like this anywhere in my collection. A little bit darker than UFO. It's very hella pigmented. What do they want to do? I think I want to put a little bit of something on my lower lash line, but like, what do I want to do? Why don't I... Go ahead and put a wing and some lashes on my top lash line. So as you can see, the wing and the lash, girl, it just pulled it together. To finish up the lower lash line, even though I think this is sick and you could just leave it the way that it looks now, but we're here to try it out. But I think what I want to do is go to area 51. We're just going to smudge out the lower lash line. I think that looks good. It's really making my green eyes pop. Um, it's not super purple. I think that it's just getting a little muddy because, um, there's so much on my lower lash line already with the black. However, it is showing up. So, um, I don't want anybody to think, like, it's not showing up purple because it is purple. I think it would look different if it was on the top lash line versus being on the lower lash line. I think I want to go in with, I'm going to go in with Alien. And that just took it to the next level. Girl, who is she, beach? Yes! Your girl needs to quit while she's ahead. And since I have no highlighter on, I'm actually gonna take Pluto out of the palette. Cause like, can we talk about how stunning of a freaking highlight that is? I just really, really like this. I don't have anywhere to be, but I kinda want to like be there. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't have anywhere, but like I kinda need to be. So let's go ahead and try out these, which is the liquid lipstick in shade Can't Relate. Shake her on up. And I am gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of this with I'm Nude and then Posh Spice, cause I have both of those. I'm Nude is this one right here, definitely a lot lighter. And then this shade right here is Can't Relate. And then let me go ahead, this is Celebrity Skin. I'm just kidding, I don't have Posh Spice. And then that one right there is Celebrity Skin. So you can see it is definitely a really nice in between of the two shades. And I'm not going in with any lip liner because normally with these I wouldn't do that anyways. So I kind of wanted to do, like I said before, I apply the top layer of, um, Alien Tears to this liquid lipstick is I kind of want to do a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison between this and the Blood Sugar Palette. Obviously some of the nudes and then I wanted to compare Root Canal and Area 51. So that's basically what I'm going to do. So first things first, 
Gravity, which is this shade right here, and then Cake Mix, which is this shade right here, do look pretty similar in the pans. Now let me go ahead and do a quick swatch. So first one on my finger right here is going to be Cake Mix, and then Gravity. So on my arm right here, I do have them swatched. Top one is Cake Mix, and then the lower one is Gravity. Now you can tell that the bottom shade is a lot more cool tone than obviously the top shade being a little bit more of a pink undertone, so it has a little bit more warmth to it. I'm going to swatch Sugar Cane, which is this light shade right here. That is the lightest neutral shade in this palette. And then I'm going to go in with Titan, which was the lightest shade in the other palette. Obviously, these are not similar, but I just wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison. And then obviously, the two purples that I feel like a lot of people are going to be like, hey, are they similar, is going to be Root Canal, which is this purple shade right here. I will see the purples in this in this blood sugar palette have a tendency of being a little bit more dry. I will see me touching the palette from um, Alien, they are just a little bit more buttery, and then I will go ahead and swatch them. Bottom shade, obviously, being the Alien palette, this is Area 51, and then the top shade being Root Canal. Root Canal is a lot more pink compared to the true royal purple of the Alien palette. More item to test out, this is in shade Alien Tears. Again, I had some people online um, in some of the Jeffree Star forums that I was part of complaining that the pigmentation in these was not good. I have it right here on my hand and it's not really going to show up the greatest. Ooh, ooh, there you go, now you can see it. Not going to be something that you're going to put on and it is going to be this glitter white. It's a lip topper, so don't get it twisted, but let's go ahead and... Let me think on how I want to word this because I don't want it to sound bad because it's it's a good thing. So it's obviously a glitter lip topper. When you apply it, feels glittery going up. Feels like a glitter consistency, but with it on your lips, it doesn't feel glittery. Does that make sense? It just made it look like satiny. It made, I, I will say Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks are already pretty comfortable, but it just made them just a little bit more comfortable. And it feels like I have more of a cream lipstick on, obviously, because I put a cream lipstick on over it, but like, like your lips, but better. And it, you know, like for the winter, it's going to make them feel less crusty because it's not like a liquid. Hmm. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get into my final thoughts. Oh, that hurt my head. <laughs> I have my clip and hair extensions in. Can you see them? The palette, the palette. Just go out and buy the freaking palette. Just go and buy it, okay? Like, wherever it is, if you have to wait for a restock, like, just freaking buy it. I know I said earlier in the video that I did have to wait two and a half weeks to get this palette. I will say I don't regret any minute of waiting that two and a half weeks for this because I have not been feeling very, like, creative. And I feel like this is really a good palette that will test your creativity, but it also has a lot of really good neutral options. When I first saw this palette, I didn't really like the layout of it too much. Either keep the neutrals separate or keep all of the fun colors next to each other. I don't know that's just my personal preference. I need to breathe. Moving on. I will say if you had to choose between the two palettes, between Blood Sugar and Alien, God, I would have such a hard time deciding. But as of right now, this is my new favorite palette just because there are a little bit more options as far as neutrals, but also the fun colors. It is very beautiful. I like how it opens up like a giant compact. I don't know if this little hinge is going to wear out over time. That's my only concern with it, but it does have a nice little magnet that quick comes right back in. This is going to be something that I feel like I'm going to be really reaching for and doing a lot of looks on Instagram. It's really pretty and I really like this collection. Oh and also I have an Instagram. Like please just go ahead and follow me. I'll leave it like right down below so that's all you gotta do is just click follow, love it, you know what I'm saying. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel before you leave. It really, really helps me out. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect.